Doug McNichol, who had a long and stellar career as a football player, began participating in organized sports in his hometown of Meriton near St. Catharines. Doug played more basketball than football. He was on the senior intercollegiate basketball championship team in 1949-50 because his school's football team played only one game a year against Ridley. His basketball coach, Angelo Pastori, recognizing his outstanding ability, looked for ways to get him on a college team. As a result, Johnny Metris, Western's renowned coach, offered him a place there playing basketball. Doug asked if he could try out for football as well, and the rest, as they say, is history. From 1950 to 52, he was a lineman for the Western Mustangs, a member of the 1950 and 52 Yates Cup championship teams. In 1952, he won the George McCullough Trophy as the team's most valuable player. He was also an outstanding basketball player, team captain in 51 and 52 on the Ontario Quebec Athletic Association Basketball Championship team in 1951 and on the All-Star team three seasons. In 1953, he was a first round draft choice of the Montreal Alouettes. That season, he was named the Eastern Rookie of the Year and in 1954 was offered a contract with the football New York Giants. That set off a bidding war for his service as a player, won in the end by the Alouettes. He stayed with the team for eight seasons and was named to the Eastern All-Star team six times. In 1958 and 59, he was selected for the All-Canadian team. In 1961, Doug was traded to the Toronto Argonauts, doubling as a defensive end and tackle for three seasons. After retirement, he coached the East York Argonauts in 1966 and the Bramley Satellites in 1967, helping each team win the Canadian Senior Championship. Doug McNichol married his high school sweetheart, Betty McFarland. They had three children, Scott, Cameron, and Clara. Betty passed away in 1996, and son Scott passed away in 1998. Doug still lives in Etobicoke and has two grandchildren. 2008 Etobicoke Sport Hall of Fame inductee, Doug McNichol.